Hello and welcome to another video. In this one we're going to be talking about Orage Head, which I actually learned about on stream recently due to a comment in chat by Kevin. Uh, so I'm going to show you more about that and how you can use it to rescue a Git repository after you run some risky commands. Uh, so let's jump into that. Um, I actually did another video about similar techniques that you can use. Um, I actually prefer to use reflog to do this, but a ridge head is another way to rescue uh, risky uh, things after making a git mistake or a risky uh, command. Um, so I'm just, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna shout this out, put it in the video description as well. But check out that video as well. Okay, in order to do this, we need some sort of git repository. I'm going to just clone one of my repositories um, and. We're gonna poke under the hood inside the git directory a little bit, and you'll notice that this is kind of what it looks like at the beginning. Um, git uses some special files in here to refer to the current revision you have checked out. So if we do cat git slash head, that is uh, telling us that our current head is refs heads master, I guess, um, something like that. <laughs> anyway, uh, what orange head is, is another special file inside the git directory that's going to keep track of some state and it gets created whenever we run a risky command. Um, Git doesn't really define this all that well, but you can think of it as something like uh, a rebase or a reset or anything that's going to modify like our history or change our uh, repository state in a way that might not be reversible. Um, also, these are things that would show up in reflog as well. So using reflog, you can find them there as well. Uh, but one such uh, com risky command is git reset dash dash hard. And so if we do this, this is going to reset back to four commits ago. And you'll notice if we look inside that git directory, ls.git, uh, that we now have this orage head file here. And what this orage head file does is it points to the commit that we had before we did this risky thing here. So if we cat.git slash orage head, uh, it'll have this revision here, and if we were to do git log on this, you'll see that that's the origin. Well, it's off screen, but this is the this is the commit that we were at before um, before we did that risky thing here. Before we ended up four or eight commits back by uh, resetting hard here. And the cool thing about that commit is we can get back to this commit if we want to. We can actually just get reset dash shard back to origin, head, and that'll take us right back to where we were and um, you know, allows us to restore whatever state that we might have messed up by running this risky command here. Now, of course, this is also in get ref log as well, uh, but this is not a video about ref log, this is a video about <laughs> orange head, which shows you uh, how you can quickly recover back to a previous state. Uh, I also wanna show you another uh, use case of this, and this was specifically the one that Kevin wanted to, to talk about, and we're gonna make a new repo for that. In init foo. Uh, touch file.txt, we're just going to make something, the commit, first commit, like that. Um, now what Kevin wanted to show is a case where you've accidentally made a mistake. So let's say for instance that we, um, I'm going to put hello, hello world in here, hello, hello world, and we've also made a secrets, maybe we made a .env file, uh, export some secret equals the beef. I don't know, maybe you put a, a key in here or something inside of your .m file and you mistakenly ran git add dot and then committed. Um, hello world. And you've noticed this mistake. You've noticed, oh shoot, I've checked in my secrets. And hopefully you've recognized this before you've pushed and not after. Uh, so you wanna go back and fix this. So what you can do here is you can do git reset and caret, go back to the previous commit, and we're gonna do a soft uh, reset here. A hard reset is just going to essentially change our, our whole working directory and everything back to that point in time. Uh, but a reset soft here is going to take us back to that commit right before we're going to commit. So you can see here, this is the same state as we were in right here. Um, and it allows us to change what was going to be committed there. So we're like, oh yeah, well, we don't wanna commit that env file. So we're gonna do get reset.env to, make it not be staged for commit, and uh, we're actually gonna put it in git ignore so we don't make this mistake in the future. And we're gonna add our git ignore. Uh, but now you might be like, oh, I wanna reuse the same commit message that I did before. And you know, I could scroll up, press up a bunch of times, or copy and paste this command. Uh, but it's actually a nice shortcut for that in git commit. 
which is the dash capital C um, option to get commit, which makes a commit and allows you to reuse the commit message from that other commit. And we can actually conveniently reuse the message from orange head directly because if we do git show orange head, you'll see that you know we have this commit message and that's exactly what we want. So we can just do git commit dash capital C, which is reuse message orange head. And that allows us to recreate the commit with the original commit message, but with our modified fixed up contents where we didn't make that silly mistake. Uh, but anyway, that's Orange Head. Hopefully you found this useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below, or reach out to me on the various platforms. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.